Did you know that the world longest road is the Pan American Highway, which starts from Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, to Ushaya in Argentina? A distance of approximately 30,000 kilometers, which is equivalent to 19,000 miles. That is so shocking, right? The highway also passes through 14 different countries. Okay, guys, now let's narrow down to Africa as a continent. Every day, millions of people rely on roads to commute to work, transport goods, and travel to new destinations. But have you ever wondered how these roads are constructed and what goes on to making them safe and durable? Roads are the lifeline of any society and modern road construction techniques have transformed the way we build and maintain them. From highways to small streets, the process of road construction has evolved over the years and become more efficient, eco-friendly and durable. In this video, we will take a closer look into step-by-step -step road construction and highway construction from planning and design to opening to the public. We will explore the latest engineering techniques and equipment used to construct durable and sustainable infrastructure that meets the need of our community. The first stage in modern road construction is planning and design. During this stage, engineers work closely with local authorities to access the road's purpose, expected traffic volume, and environmental impact. They also conduct surveys to determine the site's topography and soil condition. Based on these conditions, engineers create detailed design plan that includes the road's alignment, cross-section and drainage system. Once planning and design stage is complete, the next step is to prepare the site for construction. This may involve clearing trees and other vegetations and moving other existing structures and creating the land to create a level surface. The soil may also need to be stabilized to prevent erosion and provide a strong foundation for the road. With the site prepared, it's time to start building the road's foundation. The base and sub-base layer provide support for the pavement and distribute the weight of the vehicles evenly. The base layer is typically made of crushed stones or gravel, while the sub-layer may be made of compacted soil or recycled materials such as crushed concrete or, or asphalt. This layer also provides additional support and improve the road's drainage system. Proper drainage is critical to the longevity of the road. Drainage system is designed to prevent water from accumulating on the road surface and causing damage. This involves installing culvert and drainage pipes along the sides of the road. Once the base and sub-base layers are in place, it's time to pave the road. Asphalt is the most commonly used material for paving roads, although concrete may also be used of air pockets, which can lead to crack and damages. With the pavement in place, the final step is to add road markings, such as lane lines and symbols, to guide motorists and improve safety. These markings are typically made using durable materials such as thermoplastics. Once the road is completed, it undergoes a final inspection to ensure that it meets all safety and quality standards. If everything checks out, the road is opened up to the public and become an essential part of our transportation infrastructure. Modern road construction is not just about asphalt and concrete. Engineers are constantly exploring new materials and technologies to create more sustainable and eco-friendly roads. Road construction is not just about building new roads, 
maintaining and repairing the existing roads is just as important. Over time, roads can become damaged due to heavy use, widening, and other factors. Proper maintenance and repair can help extend the lifespan of roads and ensure its safety and efficiency. Now, that is the process of road construction. It is very important and every single step of it counts. From planning to maintenance, every single part that I have mentioned here is very important. Now, to the next step is, the last stage is for me and you, the pedestrians, those who are using the road, plus the drivers. The road markings are there, the road signs are there, and it's upon me and you to make use of them. To reduce the rate of accidents, we are supposed to typically try and master the road signs. In my next videos, I'll be giving you at least one road sign to study and know its meaning so we can be able to use our roads with a lot of care and to reduce or minimize the number of accidents that are happening in our roads. Thank you so much guys for watching this far. Yeah, and I want to take this special time guys to appreciate you and thank you so much for 6000 subscribers we finally we are finally at 6000 subscribers it will not have been possible without you i appreciate i thank you so much every single effort that you've shown to this channel for those who have subscribed those who have liked those who have been sharing those who have been commenting i really really appreciate you so so much Yes, so we are still on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I am hoping that we are going to get to that mark very soon. Thank you for your time that you've taken to watch the videos. I don't take your time for granted. Thank you so, so much. In case you are watching me for the first time, please consider subscribing so you can join the family, guys, and also keep sharing my videos widely and please don't forget to subscribe please just subscribe because the analytics tells me that those who are watching and have not subscribed are many compared to those who have subscribed and are watching so do me a favor if you know you've been watching me for the uh, for some time now and you haven't subscribed just do me a favor and click on the subscribe button yes thank you so much guys i'm so much excited we can't wait to hit 10,000 subscribers right very soon we'll be there yeah, so uh, what do you think about this kind of content that I've, I've uploaded today? Do you want more of it? Do you like it? Do you want more? Uh, drop in the comment section so I may know and be able to even give you more of this. That is if you like it. Thank you so much. Let's meet again in the next one. Bye-bye.